Hello, so in this video I'm going to show you this software is called uh, 3D. Now this software is used for creating trees, I would say especially for games. Now so when you open the software it looks this way and you get a tree here. Now to rotate around it's the uh, left mouse click and drag and to zoom in it's right mouse click and drag, left mouse click and drag is to rotate right mouse click and drag to zoom in and I think that those are the only things that you can do within this software let's look around the tree so when you open the software up it's a really neat software it's really easy to create any trees in this software so when you start what you see is it's really simple I mean what you get is the file to save and to load things and to see the wireframe if you wanted to or light without light so it's really basic but it's really easy to use so when you start you see that you have the options here now you get the triangle count when you start it's like a 12,000 it's a little high but you can always uh, reduce that when you play with some of the settings and you can actually randomize how you want the tree to look like if you don't want to go into the settings and you know make your own so you can just randomize and look for something that you like Okay, let's say I like this one. Now I can I can go and uh, we can change some of the settings. So we can reduce some of the some of the geometry here. So as you see if we increase these subdivisions, it gets rounder. So I like to decrease that one just to save on the the poly count and maybe increase the radius of the trunk and you have a few options here to change some of the settings and all you have to do is move things around I've been changed some of the settings now the good thing is that they provide you with some of the textures here but you can actually load your own textures if you wanted to and you can even tile them here so I'm going to load my own texture say now when you load a texture they have more, more textures from their own software so you can browse some of the textures that they have or of course you can get your own textures as I said so let me get something from mine Now this is one of my textures see that it shows you the texture in the the viewport here so that's pretty neat so now if we go to the branch section we can change the number of branches that we want see it's set to 30 if we set it like really high like 60 that's really high of course if you go back and check your poly count it's uh, like 25,000 now but you can also change it to a lower number, say 15. And you check your poly count now, 6,000. That's a lot less. Set it to 20. Whoops. Maybe a 16. And you also have uh, the sub branches. Now you have this option here that says adapt to trunk the subdivision for the branch now if you press this one that says adapt to trunk it's going to make it really really basic but that really makes your poly count lower but right now it's still at 4000 but when you change some of the leaf settings you're going to see that it becomes a lot lower in poly poly count you can change the size properties of course for, for the branches Now if we go to the leaf section, we have that we have uh, 20 leaves. Now I like to deselect this one that says leaves and branches. So you get less leaves and uh, do save on poly count as well. So let's, if we want something really low poly count, let's say this is like 7. And we set these to on the branch adapt to trunk. See how that's... 1000 still kind of high so 
if we can increase the size of the leaves to say four four that's a little too high maybe maybe two and two but it starts to look more uh makes more sense i think it looks more reasonable still a little high polygon so of course you can always change many of the settings here to lower the the poly count for your tree here so now we're going down so i set this to like seven lower that down now that's like 300 but uh, it doesn't look that good anymore of course but yeah this is a neat uh, software and of course you can for the leaves as well you can also get your own texture see here you have your own texture and they have different uh, you can change for different seasons as well if you wanted to that's pretty cool I don't think that would work if you use your own texture so let me import my own texture here this is my own texture I don't think the hmm actually there is, there is a change if you change some of the options here it's not exactly what I would expect but but it, this is a neat software I think it, you can make really easy trees in no time And then once you're done, of course, now the poly count for this one is at 1,500 around there, so it's not too bad. Of course, you can randomize and get different types of trees. And once you're done, all you do is file and export as all three of these options. I don't have too many options, but uh, these are good enough. The only problem is that the UVs for the trunk are not too. I don't know what what you would expect once you get them to like some software like Maya. UVs are not exactly what you would expect, but but you can always change them. And this is the software 3D where you can create trees.